This is M Live's Benjamin Raven. Um, unfortunately, my first video from inside of the 2018 Tundra 4x4 Limited double cab. Something went wrong. It didn't save to my phone or it didn't send to my email. All I know is it's not there, so forgive me. This one's coming from inside of the brand new Mazda 3, but this will concern the 2018 Tundra 4x4 Limited double cab. And boy, oh boy, that was a big, powerful, fun, smooth truck to drive. And I did drive it. I drove it from Detroit to Cadillac to Traverse City, over to Frankfurt and Lake Michigan, and back to Detroit. And let me just say, that 38 gallon tank is impressive because I'm sitting here thinking, what is going on? Like I, I was assuming it had like a 24 gallon tank, 21 gallon tank, you know, but uh, because it's 14 miles of the gallon combined, 13 miles of the gallon city and 17 miles of the gallon highway. Not terrible for a truck that big, but you kind of expected to get gas a little more often, but no, that 38 gallon tank, you just keep on going. I think I went from Detroit to Cadillac to Traverse City, and I ended up getting gas for the first time just outside of Bear Lake. For those of you who know who Bear Lake is, let's just say it's a long ways from Detroit. So very impressive, very smooth ride, a very smooth ride. Uh, the horsepower was, oh, uh, what was it? 361 horses. You feel every bit of it. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's right in the middle right where it needs to be smooth powerful fun to drive straightforward um only negatives i've got to personally say about it is um i'm just a you know i mean if you put a back seat in a truck i expect that back seat to be fully functional and while the back seat had adequate leg room and space like that if you're not six feet tall you're gonna have a hard time getting into that back seat i had to pick up two separate people two separate people into the back seat. And when I say pick up, I mean pick up. I'm six foot six. We've beaten that to death before. I know Ben definitely fit inside of that truck. I'm just saying, if it's a brand new truck and it's coming in north of $45,000, put one of those nice little step stools for people to get into the back seat in. I didn't need it to get in the front seat. My dad, who's six foot five, who joined me in the passenger seat, did not need it to get in, but my girlfriend and my mother needed lifts up to get into the back seat. So just something to think about like that. If you're going to have a back seat, make sure it's accessible. Not everyone's six foot six and can pick other people up like I can. So that's just something to think about. Other than that, I thought the handling was beyond smooth. It just kind of blew me away just because it was such a big powerful truck with an impressive huge bed a beautiful truck lining uh mine came in an inferno an inferno orange and woo -hoo -hoo, not my favorite color in the world but it looked good on this truck and um scroll through the photos in this gallery and once again i am apologizing for my first video not hanging through but i wanted to talk about this truck just because i did spend a great deal of time inside of it i loved my time with the toyota tundra limited double cab just yeah, I mean, and the thing they say, you got a truck, people are going to help you out. You know, I was hauling bikes for people all of a sudden, hauled two mattresses for my dad. Uh, uh, it, it's a very just dependable commuter slash work truck. The, the, the middle console, you could fit a whole cooler inside of it. The touch screen was fine. Uh, one other negativity, I've got super long arms being six, six foot six. The radio pads, I'm stretching. I shouldn't have to stretch to reach anything. So my heart goes out to you normal-sized people who are probably scrunched up to their steering wheel just so they can change a radio station, turn the volume down, turn the volume up. Whether you're driving or not, I'm parked and I'm reaching way too far. Bring that screen out a little more, add a step stool, and you've got an all-around commuter, working, beautiful truck that at $45,000, mine came in at $40,000, $44,939 and that was the limited double cab edition so that's to be expected but great truck I, I I can fully recommend the Tundra just little things like that if you have short people in your life make sure you have a car they can get inside of if you're a short person make sure you can reach the radio dials and stuff like that so you're not dislocating your shoulder trying to tune the radio station but yeah, that's about it. M Live's Benjamin Raven. A uh, week inside the 2018 Tundra 4x4 Limited Double Cab with the TRD off road system. Fun. I uh, drove it around the state. Paved roads, dirt roads, hills, flatland, a little bit of everything, highway. 
fun truck. Fun truck to drive, very capable, very powerful, very safe, very comfortable, very dependable. And man, that 38 gallon tank, I mean, stuff like that, that's that's nice. I mean, I, I remember I was, just one last thing, I remember I was filling up at Bear Lake, like I said, and I didn't step away because that's illegal, but I was kind of like, I think I was wiping the windshield off and I looked back and I'm like, oh my goodness, that's up at $56 right now and it's not even close to stopping. So that's cool. Very cool. Highly recommend it. I can re recommend it. Um, I'm excited to check out some of the other trucks so I can compare it, but 2018, 2019, that's the first big, big, uh, good selling one like that that I've had the chance to get into recently. So uh, scroll through this slideshow gallery, check out the photos, check out the videos, uh, courtesy of Toyota. I want to give you guys all the visual cues that you can get from this truck because once again, I do apologize for me being inside of a Mazda talking about a Toyota right now, but hey, technical stuff happens every once in a while. Benjamin Raven, MLive.com. Thanks for reading, watching, and listening.